Hello, fellow AI art enthusiasts. I feel like it has been a while since we last had a feature from Midjourney. The pace has been kind of slower now that we are between versions. We haven't even seen a version 6.1 yet. The new feature is called personalization. And in this video, I shall be going over the new feature and sharing some of the personalization codes that people have been sharing in the Midjourney community. Let's first take a look at the announcement. So this tells us that the model personalization is your own style that has been developed when you rank images. Each time you have done the pair rankings should theoretically affect your personalized style. The pair ranking is the one where you choose your preferred image out of the two shown on screen. I tested that liking images on the top page does not work. I went and liked some images on the hot page but didn't see any changes. And it is easy to check this yourself by doing slash info in any Discord channel with Midjourney in it. You can see how many images you have ranked over time in the ranking count section in the info response. The documentation page for this feature also doesn't seem to mention the likes affecting the personalization. Right away, I have a small criticism about this because I tend to notice things and think 1000 steps in every direction. Yes, you do get your own personalized style, but there is a very big amount of randomization involved. You cannot affect which images you get to rank with the pair ranking. You can kind of nudge your style towards what you want, but I think it's a difficult process. I guess I would rather like to use the top ranking or ranking of your own images that look good to you to control it better or at least have some kind of way to exclude some images that you were kind of forced to choose when doing the pair rankings. Or maybe this doesn't affect the outcome at all and evens out over large quantities of ranked images. What is your opinion on this? Let me know in the comments what you would prefer. So let's now look at how you can use this feature. As always, there is a few ways to do that depending on your preferences you can do slash settings and toggle the new personalization button. This sets this on by default for all of your prompts going forward, and it will use your own personalization code every time. Or you can do this on a prompt basis by adding dash dash p to the prompts of your choosing. When you run it, you will get a code that corresponds to your style. It has been established that there is only one code per person. Your own code will always remain the same, but as you rank images more and more, the style itself will change. If this is so that the code will always stay the same, then I see another problem with this new feature. If you go ranking at all after you have tuned your personal style to something that you really like, then there could be a chance that you will lose that personal style that you really liked. And there does not seem to be a way to lock it in place. Okay, well you could theoretically use the dash dash s ref and a URL to an image of your personal style, but I don't think it's an ideal solution. But they did mention that it's a fun feature, constantly in flux. Let me know what you think about this new feature and do you see any use cases in your own personal workflow? Let's jump back to the patch notes again before we look at some examples. We have a few more things to check out. One of them is that you can use the dash dash s or basically the stylized value to increase the strength of the personal style. Zero is off and 1000 is the maximum value. I do seem to prefer the maximum value in my tests so far. And another thing is that you can share your personal style code with others. And if you have any style codes from others, you can use them when you add dash dash p followed by the code of your choosing. Remember that those are in flux and will not stay the same. Also a tip to check out someone's style if they have not shared their personal style code is to right click on their name in Discord, then click copy user ID and then paste it after dash dash p. But do put angle brackets and the at symbol as well before the code number. The personal style codes are linked to everyone's Discord names and basically available to everyone. But let's look at some examples now, starting with my own personal style code. And after that, I have found some more codes that other people have freely shared on Midjourney's Discord. First, let's compare what the default Midjourney style would do. For the prompts I chose again, four things that I have combined with my usual seed number 777 
aspect ratio 9 to 16 and this time also with the highest stylized value possible, which is 1000. My first prompt was fashionable alien. I wanted weirdness and I wanted some fashion and I wanted to lessen the creepiness of the usual aliens. My second prompt was fantasy. Seems to always produce nice and epic looking images. My third prompt was photo of an old woman because I wanted to add photography as it tends to behave differently. And my fourth prompt was city street. An old classic of mine, a bit of an urban environment with some architectural elements. And my own personal style produced this with my prompts. You probably saw some other examples of my personal style earlier in this video as well. So I seem to prefer ornate stuff, dots, luminescent lighting and seemingly liquids. Pink, turquoise and black seem to be my favorite colors that I didn't even realize. Well, across this video I saw a lot of green as well. And there seems to always be some wavy quality, along with glowing dust or something. Now let's see how other people's styles look like. I love the aliens with this style, seems to be more darker and muted. This is colorful and ornate, yet slightly monochrome as well in some parts. I especially like the fantasy images. A lot simpler style. I like the aliens the most. This is more painterly. I again like the aliens the most. Oh wow. This looks absolutely mesmerizing. So glowy and shiny. Might explain why my style is slightly glowy as well. This style has a significantly lighter tone to it. And I like that there is kind of an alien or sci-fi feeling going across all the prompts. Very pretty and shiny and colorful. Seems to generate really beautiful people as even the old women look younger and very attractive. I love the simplicity of this style kind of minimalist. City Street has really nice angles to it, and this one is definitely less photographic. The fantasy images look like romance book covers. This is very painterly. I guess this is a style that I do not normally prefer, although it is definitely quirky. Neon colors and very chaotic and busy style. This style looks kind of like a retro video game in some parts. This style looks vintage to me. I love the aliens, the costumes on them look so fun. Again, more of a painted and geometric look. Oh wow, I love this one. It's more monochrome and has way less color. But the color it has, it really pops. It's so difficult to choose my favorite images, but I adore the fantasy image. Fantasy looks great, again with this style. It's more painterly, except the aliens for some reason. This is a lovely style. Nice ornateness and definitely a preference for teal and golden colors. The aliens look so cool with this one. Kind of bug and android hybrids. And that one lady with the yellow glowing eyes is creepy. And last, but not least, is a kind of a hazy style. Totally unique. Thank you to everyone who shared their style codes. It has given me a really fun glimpse at what other people prefer. And it really does seem to be that all of us have such unique preferences. I guess that's why I have tried to include all kinds of styles in my videos based on how different they have looked to me compared to the default version of Mid Journey. I originally had some mixed feelings about my own personal style, but the more I prompt with it, the more I have grown to like it. But there are so many other styles I like as well, so I am glad that we at least have the opportunity to share our personal styles with others. If you haven't heard already, I have started my own Patreon lately. And I thank my new members so much for joining and supporting me in my style explorations. All the prompts are here in this video for free, but one of the perks of becoming a member on my Patreon is the prompt PDFs. The PDF for this video's prompts will also be included there. As always, I thank you so much for watching and let's continue prompting.